you thought it was going to go. Uh, it, it was kind of a, a different game. It kind of took on a different uh, vibe. Yeah, not the best way to start the weekend, but we'll uh, take the win and, and go with it. And, you know, I thought a lot of good things happened still. Um, I, I told them after the game, I always say, you know, two out of three wins it, right? Pitching, defense, and offense. And I thought in, like, inning five, we had pitched and played defense really well. So I thought we deserved it. So I'm glad they were able to find a way. Yeah, the offense, uh, y'all left some people on base. But uh, I don't know, you struggled with those pitchers a little bit maybe? Or? Well, they did a good job. They have a great pitching coach. She's been uh, well taught, well groomed. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Your third walk-off win now in a row. What would you say about your offense being able to create those clinch wins? Yeah, I mean, I think more than talent or any of the things, I think the ability to be gritty and be tough in those situations is huge. And I think, you know, the offense was gritty with Taylor getting that big hit, but I think the gritty one tonight was Sydney Burzon, that she kept us in this ball game as long as she did. She did such a good job of just pitch until we score. Um, so I think her toughness and grittiness is a big moment for her. So you recently hit 500 wins as a career coach. What does that What does that mean to you as a coach and for this team and everything else moving forward? Well, I have done a lot of games in the purple and gold. It's been exciting. Um, you know, it's really just cool to think back about all the awesome women that wore purple and gold in those games and just everything they gave to this university and this program. Um, I can't take a ton of credit for it. I had just had the best seat in the house watching. Uh, these amazing women do their job and they did it at the absolute highest level. And what do you think is the biggest adjustment that you guys are going to make going into the rest of the weekend? Well, I'm sure there will be a few. Um, you know, we'll go back and review this game and um, you know, every day is different. Every time you get a different strike zone, a different, you know what I mean? The, the air is going to be different tomorrow night, the wind, like, so it'll be a different ball game no matter what. But we'll go back and look at the film and there will definitely be some adjustments. Did he Looked like you, you, you were going to get it done a lot quicker than y'all ended up getting it done. It must have been a little frustrating uh, to keep going. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't say too frustrating. I mean, every every new inning is a new opportunity for us to get better, especially this early in the season. I think uh, it was it was a longer game than anticipated, but I think with each pitch, we all found a way to get better tonight, and uh, it'll help us for the rest of the weekend and the rest of the year. Uh, were, were you struggling with anything in that uh, in that uh, sixth inning, or was it just a matter of some balls finding? Finding the holes I think it was just a matter of some balls finding some holes. I, I did slip once, but <laughs> nothing to be noted of. I think uh, stuff happens, and I, I learned from those innings how to come back from it, uh, and obviously we had to score back some runs, but uh, I think just learning from what happened during that inning uh, to move on through the game, especially as it went longer. What was your mentality like going into those extra innings, keeping up that momentum? Uh, I'll say my goal all the time even with extra innings, is to stay as loose as possible. Uh, I, I like to keep a loose personality, keep it smooth out there. I'm always talking to my infield. Uh, I never really want to feel like it's getting tense, feel like we're in those extra innings. Uh, so my goal going in was it's just another inning. We're just playing softball, and we're just working one pitch at a time. You mentioned wanting to get better every inning. What is something that you and the team are kind of working on getting better at as the season progresses? I think... Uh, with all the teams we've seen already, it's already been a, a bunch of different teams, and I think being able to learn and adapt uh, I, for a pitcher myself, like to each hitter, and uh, understanding how to maneuver my pitches to each lineup, uh, which isn't always the same each game, isn't always the same each at bat. Uh, can't really speak for the offense because I'm not out there, but I think uh, keeping up the communication on defense is a huge part of it. Staying, like I said, loose uh, and just talking with each other through it all. So obviously a really big night for you. What are you feeling after three extra innings? And I know it's tired. You said it's your bedtime, so. <laughs> yes, I am normally in bed at 9 o'clock. But any any type of Tiger win is good for us. Um, we always talk about how it's good to learn lessons with a win. So, of course, not our cleanest, best game that we could have had. Could have made more adjustments at the plate earlier. But still coming out with the win is what it is. Were you looking for a particular pitch when you came up? in the last inning? Yes, so after a couple of bats, um, was making like one adjustment at a time. This time just overdid it with the adjustments. Um, was still sitting the same pitch. Uh, she threw a lot of curve and drop, so just sitting one that's high enough for me. Um, I do and type, like to chase the low ones from time to time, but trying to squeeze the zone, see it higher. Um, I talked to Bryce before I went up to bat and asked, 
if I was getting like a little leaning, he's like, yeah, let's shorten your stride a little bit this next one. So made that adjustment, scooted up all the way in the box because I've been early a couple times. So just using all the adjustments possible. Uh, was it a particular type of pitch though that you, that you got? I think it was curve, but either curve or drop, one of the two. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it did catch us by surprise. Coach talked about it in our huddle. Um, the energy was kind of weird all day. We should have put a stop to it much earlier. Like we all felt it from the beginning, but of course now we get now we know that. Now we get to make that change earlier in the future. So. You mentioned that the energy feels off a little bit. What do you guys do in a situation like that to kind of come back? We always talk about faking it until it feels real. So in that instance, we. Our cheering needs to be way more, like have one inning where we're just completely insane. We always talk about can't beat crazy. And we play the best whenever everyone's crazy. We're hype, we're up. So just making that adjustment, one inning, being completely crazy, and then hoping it sticks makes it, makes it real.